Hello! So, this is the next word in my Word of the Day series. Today is Wednesday the 3rd of June. I cannot believe we're in June already, guys. What is going on? I think they fast-forwarded time. So, our Word of the Day today is kind of an opposite of yesterday's word. It's a bit like an antonym. An antonym is a word which means the opposite. So, for example, big and small are antonyms of one another. So keep that fact in your head because you might need to use it later. Today's word of the day is hesitant. Hesitant. Okay, I want you to look really closely at the spelling of that word because when I say the word, it sounds like this. Hesitant. So that unt at the end sounds like it should be a letter U hesitant. But actually, if you look at the spelling of the word, it's hesitant. Hesitant. Now, think really closely about, think really carefully about this word, because it kind of sounds like it's got another word inside it. What other word do you know that might be hiding inside this word? Have a little think. I'm going to show you on the screen in a sec. Yes, absolutely. The word that is hiding inside our word of the day, remember our word of the day is hesitant. The word that's hiding inside that word is hesitate. And when you hesitate, it kind of means you're, you pause, maybe you're a little bit nervous or shy. So if you look at the word up here and the definition down here, it means nervous or uncertain, like someone who's afraid to jump off a diving board nervous or uncertain, like someone who is afraid to jump off a diving board. Have you ever been particularly hesitant about something? Particularly nervous or uncertain? I know I have. I remember a little while ago, Mr Thompson decided he was going to cook a lovely dinner and he decided to cook curry for dinner, which is really, really yummy. However, I saw him putting quite a lot of chilli into the curry and I thought, I'm a little bit unsure. I'm not really sure about that because I am a very um, nervous person when it comes to eating spicy food. Mr Thompson loves chilli, he loves spicy food, but I was a bit nervous. So when I tasted my curry, I just put a little bit in my mouth, stuck my tongue out just to see if it was too spicy or not. I was very nervous. If you see Army in this picture here, he is looking down, he's a bit scared, he's a bit, he's hesitating before he does it. He's a bit nervous, he's a bit uncertain, he's a bit hesitant. So our word of the day is hesitant and it means nervous or uncertain, like someone who is afraid to jump off a diving board. I'm going to show you a few pictures now of the word hesitant and hopefully that will help you to get into your head a bit of a picture of times when people might be hesitant, when, when people might be nervous or uncertain. Here you go. Okay, so hopefully that will clarify a little bit more the word of the day um, and help you get a bit of a picture in your head about what the word of the day means. Our word of the day today, remember, is hesitant. Say it with me. Hesitant. 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 Say it in a weird voice. Say it to your cat. Say it to your mum and dad. It's really, really important, guys, when you are learning a new word. It might be a little bit silly. It might feel a little bit silly. But if you practice saying the word, it helps you to get that word into your brain so it stays in your brain. Even if you feel a bit silly, it really is worth doing it because it helps you to get that word into your head. So, 
pause the video. I want you to practice saying the word hesitant. 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 Come on, everybody. Don't worry. Don't feel silly. Just get involved. Hesitant. Yes, even you. Don't fast forward. Say the word. Okay, well done. I know there were a couple who cheated there who didn't join in. That makes me sad. You have two challenges today for our word of the day. Remember our word of the day is hesitant and it means nervous or uncertain like someone who's afraid to jump off a diving board. Okay, your first challenge going to be your handwriting challenge. Now I know that when I do the handwriting I'm going to show you a time lapse just like I usually do. I know that I write my own sentence at the end. I write um, a sentence that I've made up out of my own brain but today I want you guys really to try very very hard to make up your own sentence because that really helps me when I look at your work to see if you have understood the meaning of the word. So I don't want you to copy my sentence. I still want you to copy the joins that I do. I still want you to write the definition, but I want you to, when you come to sort of step three, I want you to make up your own sentence. I'm gonna show you a few example sentences on the screen now to give you a bit of help if you're struggling. Okay, so here we go. You've got a few example sentences. You know what your joins are. You know that I want to see a nice, tall, straight letter H. The other thing that I want to see is that your T is not quite as tall as your H, um, because remember that a T should be a three quarter height letter. So here is your handwriting time lapse. Make it awesome. Go. Challenge number two, you are going to need a pen or a pencil. You can do this in felt tip, uh, whatever you've got lying around, and a piece of paper. And I would like you to set up your page so that it looks like this. Okay, so you might want to pause the video and make sure that your page is set up like what I am showing you now. Now! Now you've got your page set up, what I would like you to do is write your word in the space. Remember our word of the day is hesitant, hesitant, and you are going to try and fill 
that little form that you've made, you're going to try and fill it with loads and loads of facts about this word. So you are going to be looking for synonyms. Synonyms, remember, are words that mean the same thing. So you're going to be looking for words that mean the same thing as hesitant. You are going to be looking for words which mean the opposite. Words which mean the opposite are antonyms. Remember I gave you a bit of a hint earlier in the video, if you've watched the whole video, you're going to be looking for synonyms, antonyms, you are going to also draw a picture of the word, so a bit like Mrs Wordsmith, but don't copy her picture, see if you can come up with your own. And then um, there is another box there, and in the last box on your page, I would like you to tell me about a time when you have been particularly hesitant. So it could be a a sentence or a couple of sentences that you write, you might want to draw a little picture in that box just to sort of explain the situation to me a little bit more. Um, but yeah, just tell me about a time when you, you've been particularly hesitant, like when I was a bit hesitant to eat the spicy dinner that Mr Thompson cooked for me. I was a bit nervous, I was a bit unsure and I was a bit careful when I did it because I was a bit, sh a bit scared if, if it was going to be too spicy or not. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to send me pictures of your work. Um, there are two dojos available for everyone who does that. Send me a picture via dojo, purple mash, email, whichever method is easiest. When you have completed your work for the day, I want you to relax, read a lovely book, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy being with your family. Um, I am missing you guys incredibly and I really cannot wait until we are all back in school. Um, so yeah, just have a really lovely time and I am looking forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye!